The Egyptian mythology was one of the most complex and diverse in the ancient world, with hundreds of deities that ruled over various aspects of life, death, and nature. Some of these deities were worshipped as supreme beings, while others were associated with specific regions, elements, or functions. In this video, we will focus on six of the most prominent and powerful gods and goddesses that shaped the history and culture of ancient Egypt. Let's begin. The first god we will talk about is Amun-Ra, the king of the gods and the god of the sun, air, and wind. He was a combination of Amun, the god of creation and fertility, and Ra, the god of the sky and the sun. He was worshipped as the supreme deity who created everything and maintained order in the universe. He was often depicted as a man with a hawk's head holding a sun disk. He had many titles such as Lord of Truth, Father of the Gods, and Hidden One. He was also associated with the ram, the goose, and the snake. Amun-Ra was one of the most important and popular gods in ancient Egypt. He had a major cult center at Thebes, where he was revered as the patron god of the pharaohs. He was also worshipped in other temples across Egypt, such as Karnak, Luxor, and Abu Simbel. Amun-Ra was believed to have many manifestations and aspects, such as Kepri, the god of the morning sun, Atum, the god of the evening sun, and Kanum, the god of the Nile River. The second god we will discuss is Osiris, the god of the underworld, death, and resurrection. He was the son of Geb, the god of the earth, and Nut, the goddess of the sky. He was murdered by his brother Seth, who cut his body into pieces and scattered them across Egypt. His wife Isis collected his remains and revived him, allowing them to conceive their son Horus. Osiris became the ruler of the afterlife and the judge of the dead. He was represented as a mummified king, wearing wrappings that left only the green skin of his hands and face exposed. He also held a crook and a flail, symbols of his authority and power. He was associated with agriculture, vegetation, fertility, and regeneration. He was also seen as a symbol of stability, justice, and harmony. He had a major cult center at Abydos, where he was believed to be buried. He was also worshipped in other temples across Egypt, such as Dendera, Philae, Edfu, and Kom Ombo. Osiris was believed to have many forms and names, such as Wenifer, Kenti Amentiu, Sokar, Wesir, and Asar. The third goddess we will mention is Isis, the goddess of magic, healing, and motherhood. She was the daughter of Geb and Nut, and the sister wife of Osiris. She was a loyal and devoted spouse who searched for her husband's body parts, and restored him to life with her powerful spells. She also protected their son Horus from Seth's attacks and helped him claim his throne. Isis was revered as a compassionate and benevolent goddess who cared for all living beings. She was usually shown as a woman wearing a throne-shaped headdress or a vulture cap. She also had wings or a cow's horns with a sun disk. Isis was one of the most widespread and popular goddesses in ancient Egypt and beyond. She had a major cult center at Philae, where she was worshipped as the mistress of magic and the giver of life. She was also worshipped in other temples across Egypt, such as Abydos, Dendera, Edfu, and Kom Ombo. The fourth god we will talk about is Horus, the god of the sky, kingship, and war. He was the son of Osiris and Isis, and the heir to the throne of Egypt. He had a falcon's head and a human body, symbolizing his dominion over both realms. He fought against his uncle Seth for many years until he finally defeated him and avenged his father's death. Horus became the patron god of the pharaohs and represented their divine authority. He had many forms, such as Horus the Elder, Horus the Younger, Horus Bedity, and Horus of Two Horizons. He also had many eyes that could see everything in the world. Horus was one of the most ancient and important gods in Egypt. He was associated with royalty, justice, protection, and victory. He had a major cult center at Edfu, where he was worshipped as the lord of the sky and the defender of Egypt. He was also worshipped in other temples across Egypt, such as Kom Ombo, Philae, Dendera, and Karnak. Horus was believed to have many names and titles, such as Heru, Haru, Harsiesis, Harwer, and Horamaket. The fifth god we will mention is Thoth, the god of writing, knowledge, and wisdom. He was often depicted as an ibis-headed man or a baboon. He was a self-created god who emerged from the primordial waters at the beginning of time. He was credited with inventing hieroglyphs, mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and magic. 
He also served as a mediator between good and evil forces, and as a scribe who recorded the events of history. He was associated with the moon which he measured and regulated. He also had a role in maintaining the balance of Mott, the cosmic order. Thoth was one of the most intelligent and respected gods in Egypt. He was associated with learning, science, art, and literature. He had a major cult center at Hermopolis, where he was worshipped as the lord of the eight primordial deities known as the Ogdoad. He was also worshipped in other temples across Egypt, such as Abydos, Dendera, Edfu, and Karnak. Thoth was believed to have many forms and epithets. The sixth goddess we will talk about is Hathor, the goddess of love, music, and joy. She was usually shown as a cow or a woman with cow horns and a sun disc on her head. She was one of the oldest and most popular deities in Egypt. She was associated with fertility, beauty, pleasure, and celebration. She also had a fierce side as a protector of women and a destroyer of enemies. Hathor was one of the most versatile and multifaceted goddesses in Egypt. She was associated with motherhood, childbirth, sexuality, dance, and music. She had a major cult center at Dendera, where she was worshipped as the Lady of the Sky and the Mistress of the West. She was also worshipped in other temples across Egypt, such as Philae, Edfu, Kom Ombo, and Abu Simbel. Hathor was believed to have many aspects and manifestations, such as Sekhmet, Nut, Bastet, Mehetwaret, and Usaset. These are just some examples of the many gods and goddesses that were worshipped in ancient Egypt. Each one had their own cults, temples, festivals, myths, and symbols that reflected their unique roles and personalities. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the most powerful Egyptian gods and goddesses. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know which god or goddess is your favorite and why. Thank you for watching and see you next time.